Hey guys, Megan Jeffrell for Art Planet TV, and for today's video, we'll be unboxing this filled box from Windsor and Newton. Ayan, so we'll be unboxing this um, Windsor and Newton professional watercolor in fill box. So I think it's called field box because it's used for um, outdoor painting. So yan siya. So when you open the box, ito yung meron sa loob. Merong, um, of course, the uh, main item, the watercolor in this blue box. Uh, and then this flyer, it actually um, has all the colors of the half pans. So, by the way, yung half pants, that's what you call the container um, na maliit. Kasi meron pa isang um, full pan. So, yun yung doble nung size nung container na meron ako dito sa maliit na box. So, ito siya. So, meron siyang habakan and then um, may cover sa taas. So, you have to pull it out. Yan. And then, if you notice, meron dun maliit na brush and then lagyan ng water so you also have three um palettes and meron nalagyan ng um watercolor so actually maganda siya kasi hindi agad siya um sasabog or matatanggal dun sa container and ito yung small brush yan for detailing and if you don't have other brushes well it's okay it's up to you how you will manage using this small brush all right so ito yung um mga colors and then let's try to remove um, the cover. It looks like candies, right? So, para siyang mga small candies. <laughs> so, that's what I really love about um, unboxing and removing the cover for um, half pans. Ang cute nila tingnan. So, uh, mga colors dito is um, lemon yellow, Windsor yellow, Windsor red, alizarin crimson, alizarin crimson, and then. Um, Windsor Blue, French Ultramarine, Permanent Green Sap, and then um, we have Yellow Ochre, Raw Shanna, Burnt Shanna, Black, and of course, Shiny White. Ayan, so ito, I am removing um, the cover one by one. So it's like um, removing covers ng mga candies or yung um, lalagyan ng mga candies. Ganyan siya when you um, remove the um, cover ng mga half pants. Ayan siya. So natataas yung gitna. You can arrange or rearrange yung mga um, half pants mo sa loob. And also you can wash it since you can remove um, the middle part of it. Ayan, so sa isa, busin na natin, tatanggalin na natin lahat ng cover. So, we can use it in a while. Alright, so sino yung um, most likely will buy or would use this one? Ako, for me, ang gagamit nito is yung may mga on the go or yung mga artist na always uh, traveling. If you want to carry or if you want to go light or um, carry light things. Oh, kasi I'd like to um, bring some light things. Nung actually nagpunta ako sa Europe, hindi na ako nagdala. Ang ginawa ko, bumili na lang ako doon. Actually, I was expecting na may mga ibang brands. Pero it was limited selection doon sa Malta. Ang mas marami sa Paris, which I didn't have much time to go. Ayan, so sorry. I, have, I was <laughs> already able to um, swatch earlier. Hindi ko napansin, hindi pa na on yung camera ko. But then, let's try it again. Ito yung uh, mga colors if you stretch it or if you put more water dun sa brush mo. So, ganyan yung itsura niya. It's very high pigmented and again, it's very good for um, hand lettering like what I'm doing right now. So, maganda yung colors niya. Actually, nagpabaliktad ko lang dito yung ultramarine tsaka yung um, tsaka yung Windsor Blue. Alright, so let's try to um, use it and paint. I am just trying not to be really tactical here, guys. So, pagpasensya nyo na. I'm just trying to play around and see how the paint again will react. Before, kasi I have the Winsor & Newton, pero in tubes. This is my first time that I will use the Winsor & Newton in half pan or yung um, harder version. Kasi sa tube, 
pag in-squeeze mo siya, it's fresh, it's, li- it's liquid, di ba? So, this one is actually the half pan version. So, actually, I don't see any difference at all sa color niya. Pero, syempre, with the way you use it, iba kasi kapag yung gamit mo is yung softer, where you can actually... Um, don't need more water to um, soften it. Ito naman, di naman kailangan na siya ng water, but iba pa rin yung um, ni-squeeze na paints. And here, um, yeah, I just let it bleed and um, ayun, I just try to um, play around not to be serious about the painting. And uh, maganda naman yung reaction niya, or maganda naman siya when you apply it on this type of paper. By the way, this paper is um, the Watercolor Journal by Strathmore. Ayan siya. So, ayun. So, actually, sa mga top uh, watercolor picks ko, um, isa yung Winsor & Newton. First one is Daniel Smith. And then, um, Mijello. And then, itong, ano, um, Winsor & Newton. And I also like yung um, Rembrandt and then ito let's try muna to use it on a different paper this is the the B paper so it's a little or kind of um, thinner paper I'm trying to reimagine the bridge so being um, expressive in this painting not really too technical and um, ayun Gusto ko lang maglaro and gusto ko lang mas makita yung reaction niya if I use it on wet on wet or um, dry on wet. So, ayan. Ayan, so, um, tapos na natin to but that is, that's it for the review. Um, if you have questions about painting or watercolor or the brands, I actually have posted some of the brands that I have unboxed before. Uh, medyo matagalan na siya. Like, you have to go f- uh, like one to two years back. Kasi ang dami ko na um, unboxed previously. And for this one, recently kasi I have been doing some of the digital painting or I use my iPad to paint or to draw. So, yun yung nakaka... Um, nakakasanayan kong gawin lately and also if I'm too busy there's really no time to um, update or really no time to paint but if I have a chance I always make sure that I um, I vlog and I also make reviews of some materials and the watercolor um, bundles or paints that I buy and so I'm just going to finish this stuff and I hope you have uh, learned something today about watercolor. If uh, you have questions, just feel free to comment or follow me on my social media accounts. You can always ask. I can comment on some questions or I can reply to some questions. So now finishing this um, watercolor painting. Again guys, another tip. If you know that your paper is too thin, ayan, you have to make sure that you don't ap- apply too much water on your or don't load too much water on your brush. Ayan, kasi kukulo ba talaga siya unless you have stretched your paper or it's actually stretched on a board or a hard board. Ayan. But just to give you a bit background of my uh, watercolor journey, I have been painting since I was a kid. But seriously or professionally, I have started uh, during my college days and then the more serious ones was 2015. Okay, so let's talk about the pros or yung mga advantages itong, um uh, watercolor kit na to. So, good thing about this one is you can bring it anywhere because it's really small. So, you can actually, you can actually put it in your pocket and it, there's actually a um, lagyan ng water and small brush. Everything you need to paint. If you really like to paint that moment, you can do that. Or if you're doing um, painting outside or outdoors. And another one is, um, this is light fast. Um, Windsor Newton Professional or 
uh, producing light fast colors it means it will not fade right away so um, it gives you lasting colors on your paintings and what I observe about the, the, the plastic even if it's just plastic it's very durable and you can actually um, hindi siya sasabog yung mga half pants nyo sa bag nyo if ever mahulog siya or malog-alog that's it unlike yung iba mga lagyan ngayon pag bukas mo sabog na siya and um, for me naman yung mga cons or yung things I don't like about it is syempre limited yung colors because it's small nga but this um, again um, it will train you to mix colors ayan so, but yun nga if you wanna go bigger then um, you can actually bring your other kit or bigger kits for this one. And so for its price, is for me, it's um, for me it's worth it since it's light fast. It's a professional watercolor set. Hindi siya tulad ng ibang um, student grade na magfafade agad. And this is very good when you're traveling at the same time durable siya. And that's it for today's video guys. If you like it, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell for my future videos. And I also have other videos like art, travel, and food. So please browse on through my videos. Bye!